Este es un universo. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. That's good. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yep, I'm excited. Yeah, let's get right into it. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling really blessed. I, I got up this morning pretty early at like 5.30. Went to the gym with my dad. You know, got some rounds in. You know, I, I'm a big fan of boxing. And, really? Uh, yeah, I'm a boxer myself, so got to hit the bag today. And uh, it's just been a great day, and I'm sitting here talking with you, so <laughs> I'm feeling great. Would you like to tell us about yourself? And, yeah. like, what you do? Yes, for sure. My name is Ramon Hamilton. I'm 15 years old. I'm an actor, singer, dancer, filmmaker, writer. Um, I've been acting since I was six years old professionally. Um, I have a show on Netflix called The Epic Tales of Captain Underpants. Um, mm -hmm. A new show on Disney Junior called The Chicken Squad, where I play Coop, <laughs> the little chicken with the glasses. And okay. um, and I sing as well. And I got a single coming out this coming Monday on all streaming platforms. And, um, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. Wow. Let's jump right into this interview. Okay. So far, what are you working on TV? Well, I have a show on Netflix called The Epic Tales of Captain Underpants. Um, that's based off. Yeah, of I books. watched that show. It's a really good show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I played George Beard on there. Um, that's based off of the books that sold like 70 million copies worldwide. Um, also, the show on, on Disney Junior, The Chicken Squad, also based off of a popular book series. And I um, also have a show on Cartoon Network called Summer Camp Island. Um, I've been on an episode of Family Reunion, um, a Netflix TV show, um, wow. where I played a Taekwondo black belt, which is pretty cool. Uh, I also have a movie on Netflix called All Day and the Night that came out May of last year. That's um, starring Jeffrey Wright and Ashton Sanders. That was directed and written by the same writer of Black Panther, Joe Robert Cole. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Who would you consider a role model and why? That's a great question. Um, I would consider LeBron James a great role model because, you know, he's he's a great person. You know, he, he takes his craft seriously, um, you know, obviously, and um, and he gives back to his community, you know, which is which is huge. And he's yeah, a do. as well. How do you balance being an actor and having a life as a normal kid? Yeah, that's that's a great question. That's it's it's definitely tough. Um I would definitely say like getting getting my sleep, um, which is really big. Um and managing your time wisely, you know, in school and stuff, obviously got homework this past year. I just started my freshman year in high school. So that was a big challenge. Um, but for me, it's just all about, you know, managing and, and making a list of everything that I want to accomplish, you know, throughout the day. You know, okay, I know I got to be in school. I know I want to finish my homework right after. And then I want to practice my singing for 30 minutes and so on and so forth. And then, you know, after all that, you know, you got to have time to be a kid. So, you know, just hanging yeah. out, with, you know, with your friends and, and um, and just doing stuff that you enjoy, you know, outside of work and, and school and stuff like that. What are three interesting facts no one knows about you? Three interesting facts. Okay, I'm a diehard Lakers fan. Um, I'm a big boxing fan. And I'm a filmmaker and have made several short films. Wow. Like, what kind of films do you do? Really, really all kinds. Um, this past year, I had a short film called The Friend Zone. Um, it premiered at the at the Kate Film Festival in Santa Monica, California, and uh, it was actually nominated for um, for an award. Whoa. So that was pretty cool. That was like that was like a, um, 
a play on a famous show called The Twilight Zone. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but my grandfather, who was an actor, his name was Bernie Hamilton. And um, he was on an episode back in like 1962. So, you know, just seeing him inspired me to want to create a, a little short film based off of that of my own. So that's on my YouTube uh, channel as well, Ram One Productions. That's cool. Thank How do you spend your time outside of work? I spend it playing basketball, um, hanging out with my friends, uh, playing video games, and um, and writing music, really. You know, th those are all, like, four things that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, I also am a big fan of miniature golf. I love golfing with my, with my friends and my parents. You know, I... I'm I'm kind of like the miniature golf. I'm like a baby Tiger Woods. I mean, I have been for a while, and you know, I'm I'm just playing. But yeah, I love miniature golf. Um, you know, playing basketball, just all that stuff, just doing stuff that, you know, I really enjoy. You know, just kid yeah. stuff. You know. Yeah, I like playing video games, and I also like playing basketball. Yeah. How do you handle beating the odds against you being in this industry as a young actor? I handle I um I handle it by holding on to my faith. Um, you know, just believing and trusting in God um, that you know when something is for me, it'll be for me because in this business there will be a lot um, a lot more no's than there will be yeses. So just just knowing that in mind and just knowing that if I, I approach every opportunity, whether it be from music or acting or whatever it may be, with the same mentality, you know, my preparation, staying the same, working hard, um, and believing in myself, then no matter what the outcome is, whether I, I may get the job or not, um, I can be proud of myself and know that I did everything I can in my power to be the best version of myself. So just right. holding on to my faith and, and just knowing all those things um, has really, really, really kept me. It's been tough. It's been really yeah. tough because there have been like a lot of heartbreakers, a whole, whole lot of heartbreakers. But, you know, just keeping that within you will um, will help you go far, for sure. For sure. Right. Is there anyone you'd like to work with in the future? For sure. Um, I would love to work with Denzel Washington. He's, you know, one of my one of my idols and um, and Michael B. Jordan as well. Um, I really, really. As a rising star, what has been the greatest advice you have received so far? The greatest advice I've received. Um, I was actually a few years back. I was actually working on a sh on a show on NBC called Will and Grace, um, right. and I was guest starring on the show with with um, with an actor and comedian by the name of Chris Red, and right. he's on SNL. He's killing the game, um, and he's just a great dude. But um, he told me, you know, we we got to talk and and um, and he told me, you know, as an actor, you always need to be writing, you know, write, 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 because like I said, there's there's going to be a lot more no's than yeses. And, and sometimes you're going to have to, you know, create your own opportunities. And, you know, that's what I did with my short films. You know, if if um, if I didn't get this one role, OK, that's cool. I'm creating my own. Right. So. <laughs> That's the that's the mentality that um, that he gave me, and that was probably like the the best of, best advice I've gotten so far. Okay. How have you been handling living in a pandemic? It's been tough. It's been tough, but you know I've been I've been handling it well. You know, with my family, we've just been trying to stay safe. Um, you know, quarantining, um, and and really just. You know, working on myself, um, you know, staying in shape, eating right, um, mm -hmm. yeah. doing the stuff that I enjoy, just just chilling out uh, with my family, 
um, and uh, and doing all that sort of stuff. That's great. That's awesome. Let's play a game. All right. Before you call this or that. Okay. Do you like hot or cold? I like hot. Hot for sure. Yeah, me too. Morning or night? Mm, probably night, because I'm most creative at night. Yeah. Water or juice? Definitely water. Water. <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Pizzas or taco? Hmm. <sighs> Pizza, for sure. Yeah, pizza is delicious. Yeah. Hip hop or trap music? Probably hip hop. You know, I, yeah, I'm, me too. I'm a big fan of like, you know, conscious hip hop like Kendrick Lamar, um, all those artists like that. Yeah. Basketball or football? <sighs> Probably basketball, but um, I was I used to play football and. Hey, I, I did my research on, on you and your family as well. I saw that, you know, you come from 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 uh from Gray Stock, that your dad was a you know, an NFL vet. Um Thank you know you. I Yeah, you know, I, I used to, I used to play football a little bit, you know, I led the league in rushing touchdowns and, and flag, but no, but um probably basketball, but I'm I'm better at football, I think. Okay. Going to the music or Going to going to the movies or going to Netflix? Probably going to the movies. You know, I I love popcorn and I love icy, so probably going to the movies. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Yeah, you know, thank you guys for watching. Um, once again, my name is Ramon Hamilton, actor, singer, dancer. Um, thank you for having me on. I've got a song coming out July 12th, this upcoming Monday, called Down For You. It's going to be on all streaming platforms. And uh, follow me on TikTok as well, um, at Ramon Hamilton 1, number one. And um, also on my, uh, my, uh, my YouTube channel as well, Ram 1 Productions. And, okay. um, and obviously Instagram, I am Ramon Hamilton. Thank you so much for having me. I had a blast. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. I wish you the best in all of your great things you're doing. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.